Once known as Little Paris for its elegant architecture, Romania's capital of Bucharest is rich with a storied history that merges with its modern identity. The confluence of architecture is dizzying yet fascinating. Its Byzantine buildings, 16th, 17th, and 18th century churches, Art Nouveau mansions, and spectacular neoclassical facades have survived earthquakes, war, and later, communism. And they all mix together to create a breathtaking urban display. During that dark political era, somber block panel masonry left its imprint, as well as the gargantuan palace of the parliament, the prized creation of dictator Nicolae Ceausescu. The charm of Bucharest is revealed by exploring its sprawling city parks, admiring the works of art and exhibits at its excellent museums, and getting lost in the gritty yet charming lanes that weave through the old town. A stroll down Calia Victoriae, arguably one of the prettiest places to visit in the city, is an encounter with the country's grandest buildings and most meaningful monuments, all a testament to times gone by. Exploring Bucharest is about understanding a complex past that is giving way to its modern sensibility as a booming European capital. Discover the best places to visit in this dynamic city with our list of the 10 best places to visit in Bucharest, Romania. 1. The Old Town The Old Town is one of Bucharest's earliest settlements, where structures date back to the 15th and 16th centuries. Over the centuries, it has been the seat of Romanian princes, a center for trade, a place to worship, and a crossroads for travelers. It also managed to survive Ceausescu's 1980s raising of one-fifth of the city to build his vision of a new socialist capital. After spending decades as a slum, much of the old town has been gentrified and renovated since the fall of communism. Yet while many historic buildings have been gallantly restored, still other properties await their facelift. This contrast gives that much more charm to the old town's pedestrian lanes and cobbled streets lined with bookshops, theaters, restaurants, and cafes. 2. Palace of the Parliament The Palace of the Parliament is one of the top tourist attractions in Bucharest. It is the world's second largest administrative building, after the Pentagon, an architectural colossus that also claims the title as the heaviest building in the world. Boasting more than 3,000 rooms and over 330,000 square meters and constructed with marble and steel, it was originally called the People's House by its visionary, the dictator Nicolae Ceausescu who used it as his family's residence and as the seat of his government. To complete it, Ceausescu raised places of worship, workshops, factories, parks, part of the old town, and entire neighborhoods. More than 20,000 workers and 700 architects worked on the opulent neoclassical style palace over a span of 13 years, from 1985 to 1997, during which time the majority of Romanians faced poverty. Three. Romanian Athenaeum Home to the George Enescu Philharmonic Orchestra, the stately Romanian Athenaeum, Ateniul Roman, is the city's most prestigious concert hall. The 19th century building, designed by French architect Albert Galleron, resembles an ancient Greek temple with a 41-meter-high dome and a peristyle of six ionic columns. The interiors feature a lobby of intricately painted gold-leaf ceilings, cascading balconies, and spiral marbled staircases. The 652-seat auditorium is known for its excellent acoustics and its fine art. A 70-meter long and 3-meter high fresco that winds its way around the circular hall proudly depicts scenes from Romania's history. 4. Stavropolios Church Tiny, peaceful, and beautiful, the Stavropolios Church, Manisteria Stavropolios, was built in 1724 by a Greek monk, Ioannike Stratonikias. With its intricately carved entrance lined with columns, this Brankovanesque style church stands apart as a unique landmark in Bucharest. The Orthodox Church features fine stone and wood carvings and a combination of Romanian and Byzantine elements. It is surrounded by a garden courtyard filled with 18th century tombstones. Inside, several frescoes and wood icons can be admired. The church complex once included an inn and a monastery, but both were destroyed. The church itself was restored several times after damage from earthquakes and is noted for its unique library that houses a large collection of books related to Byzantine music. Be sure to check the church's website for news of concerts and other events, which are available to the public. 5. Curtia Vecchi, the Old Princely Court Located in the heart of the Old City, 
the old princely court, Kirtia Vecchi, was the palatial residence of Wallachian princes. Perhaps its best-known occupant was Vlad Tepes, otherwise known as Vlad the Impaler, who inspired Bram Stoker's tale of Dracula. A statue of the infamous Romanian prince stands among what's left from the past, including the court's walls, several arches, and columns. Also worthy of a visit is the Old Court Museum, which features pottery and artifacts found during an archaeological dig around the ruins. 6. Revolution Square Revolution Square, Piata Revolutie, earned its name after setting the scene of dictator Nicolae Ceausescu's final moments of power in Romania. On December 21, 1989, a coup d'etat ensued here with the help of a crowd of more than 100,000, forcing the leader of the Communist Party to flee and changing the course of the country's history. Until that date, the central square was known as Palace Square, due to its proximity to the Royal Palace, which is the current home to the National Museum of Art. 7. Arcoule de Triomphe Finished in 1878, Bucharest's first Arch of Triumph was made from wood and dedicated to the Romanian soldiers who fought in World War I. The arch is adorned with sculptures created by the most notable Romanian sculptors, including Ion Gelea and Dimitri Pachyuria. To this day, it continues to serve its purpose of being the central point for military parades. Romanian soldiers march beneath it for big events, including each December 1st, which is the country's national holiday. 8. National Museum of Art of Romania Housed in the former Royal Palace, the National Museum of Art of Romania is the country's leading art museum and houses the world's most complete collection of Romanian art, including medieval and modern art. The modern Romanian collection features sculptures by Melita Petrescu and Dimitri Pachyuria. One room is dedicated to Constantin Brancusi, one of the most influential sculptors of the 20th century. The European gallery next door has 15 rooms, including works by El Greco, Monet, Rembrandt, Renoir, and Rubens. 9. Dimitri Gusti National Village Museum Founded in 1936, the Dimitri Gusti National Village Museum, usually shortened to simply the Village Museum, Musul Satului, is a unique open-air museum that stretches through leafy Harastrau Park and depicts the traditional way of life in Romania. Visitors can wander through 300 traditional buildings, including peasant homes with steep roofs, thatched barns, heavy log cabins, various types of churches, workshops, and mills, all of which have been transported from towns across every region of Romania. Each building was carefully taken apart, shipped to the museum, and rebuilt to be part of the walkable village-like setting in the park. The village museum also displays artifacts and pottery, as well as other traditional items hailing from around the country. 10. National Museum of Romanian History The National Museum of Romanian History is set in an attractive neoclassical building originally built for the Romanian Postal Service. Since 1970, the museum's 60 rooms have displayed the country's most fascinating historical exhibits dating from prehistoric to modern times. The biggest permanent exhibit is a huge replica of the 2nd century Trajan's Column, built in honor of the conquering Roman Emperor Trajan who defeated Romania's ancient Dacian tribes. Thousands of gold items and Neolithic artifacts, including jewelry dating to the time of the Ghetto Dacians, can be found in the Romanian treasury. On permanent display are the Romanian crown jewels, including stunning emerald pieces made for Queen Marie, who was the wife of Romanian King Ferdinand. That was all from us today, folks. For more similar content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.